Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. 7 to 11 just infuriated everyone with disturbing new warning sign liberals demanded. Now I think we've seen it all. An advertisement for condoms by the worldwide convenience store chain 7-Eleven has pissed off Norway's tourist board with its rude message about venereal disease in order to promote its business. The offending ad says welcome to Norway, the land of chlamydia and shows a young Norwegian couple dressed in the traditional bun ad costume in front of a backdrop of snow-capped mountains and fjords. Visit Norway, which is the nation's official tourist board has said in an official statement that the ad puts Norway in a bad light. This makes Norwegians seem like uncouth, lewd, sex-mad people, visit Norway marketing developer Stein Ove Rollen told Dagbladet. This is not a good advert for Norway, and as a depiction of Norway and Norwegians it is a disaster, he added. The local reported. An advertisement for condoms by convenience store 7-Eleven has irked Norway's tourist board with its message about venereal disease. Welcome to Norway. The land of chlamydia, pronounces the poster which shows a young Norwegian couple dressed in the traditional bun ad costume in front of a backdrop of snow-capped mountains and fjords. Visit Norway, the country's tourist board, has hit out at the ad for depicting Norway in a negative light. This, makes Norwegians seem like uncouth, lewd, sex-mad people, visit Norway marketing developer Stein Ove Rollen told Dagbladet. This is not a good advert for Norway, and as a depiction of Norway and Norwegians it is a disaster, he added. The poster advertisement is currently displayed at Oslo Central Station, making it likely to be one of the first sites to greet tourists upon arrival in the Scandinavian country. But Torholt Follestad, assistant manager with sexual health NGO Sex OG Sam Fun, Sex and Society, praised the provocative ad. Follestad said that Norway's own health authorities should run a similar campaign themselves. I think this conveys an important message in an unjudgmental way, and it will be noticed, he told Dog Blada. The claim as to the prevalence of chlamydia in Norway made by the campaign is also an accurate one, he added. In 2016, over 26,000 cases of chlamydia were diagnosed in Norway and Norwegians are not good at using condoms. The consequences can be discomfort, irritation and in worst cases it can lead to reduced fertility. Furthermore, you can infect others and become more susceptible to other sexually transmitted diseases, he told the newspaper. 7-Eleven's press spokesperson Theok Gently said that, by warning tourists against Norwegians, the campaign played on national pride. As with all slightly controversial campaigns, there have been both positive and negative reactions. So far, we have seen both types, which is expected when the aim is to get our young target audience to talk about the topic. It was not our intention to offend anyone with this campaign but we do want to create engagement and awareness around this topic," gently said to Doug Blodet. The ad is currently being displayed at Oslo Central Station which makes one of the first things that greet tourists upon arrival in the Scandinavian country. But on the flip side Torholt Follestad, who is an assistant manager at sexual health NGO Sex OG Sam Fun, Sex and Society, praised the controversial ad. In fact, Follestad said that Norway's own health authorities should run a similar campaign themselves in order to raise awareness. I think this conveys an important message in an unjudgmental way, and it will be noticed, he told Dog Blada. He added that the claim as to the prevalence of chlamydia in Norway made by the campaign is an accurate one so he has no issue with it whatsoever. Whatever you might think of the ad I think 7 to 11 is doing the right thing by raising awareness to a health crisis which can easily be avoided by the use of a condom. But I guess not all Norwegians see it that way. Here is more on this crisis via the local. Norway is Europe's herpes hotspot with the country's inhabitants making more Google searches on the uncomfortable SY transmitted disease, STD, than those of any other country in the continent. The study, carried out by the chemist Superdrug, using Google Trends, ranked Montenegro second in terms of herpes searches, followed closely by Norway's neighbor Sweden. No country in Europe, however, came close to the United States in terms of how often residents sought information on the irritatingly persistent virus, with only residents of five countries in the Caribbean the world's unrivaled herpes hotspot, making more searches. HIV and AIDS are by far the most searched for STDs globally, with African countries massively leading the way in per capita searches. People in Switzerland made the most searches about syphilis in Europe, while those in Albania made the most searches for HIV AIDS. Russia and Belarus, meanwhile, made the most searches about gonorrhea. In the UK, there were more search about chlamydia than any other STD, indicating that the Google Trends-based study may throw some light on the actual prevalence of STDs. 
According to official figures, chlamydia is the most commonly diagnosed STD in the UK. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.